Fujifilm X-A3 is an entry-level mirrorless camera which was launched. Malamok na naman guys. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Many people were asking what kind of camera I'm using for my previous videos. So right now guys, here it is. The Fujifilm X-A3. So right here in my hand guys is a Fujifilm X-A3. Fujifilm X-A3 is an entry-level mirrorless camera that was launched way back in 2016. Is it still relevant today? Is it still worth the buy in 2020? Stay tuned. By the way guys, we are here in Coffee Conclave here in Consolation Cebu. It's a good place guys, maybe you can check this out. They have a very good drink too. So let's get back to our vlog. Choosing a camera guys somehow depends on a person on what purpose is the camera for. For example, is it social media? Is it for vlogging? Or is it for plainly for your vacation only? So it depends guys. So if you are focusing more on photography, like uh, for your vacation, you know, taking decent photos from your vacation or for your social media, well, Fujifilm X-A3 guys is good for you. And aside from that, it's very handy. But before anything guys, let's go on to the key features of this camera. 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor, 77 point contrast detect autofocus system, 3 inch touchscreen with LCD with 180 degrees upward tilt which is you know very comfortable in taking selfies, twin control dials, a film simulation modes, 1080p video with up to 60 frames per second, Wi-Fi with remote capture and of course guys it's an interchangeable lens. It gives you the Fujifilm nostalgia way back many many years ago. It has a great screen and very easy to handle. Fujifilm X-A3 images have a very decent levels of details. And this mirrorless camera is perfect for those who are phonographers and taking a leap from smartphones. Fujifilm X-A3 is good for you since it is focused on capturing images equipped with diamonds that you can choose from when capturing an image. And I've also read guys that food vloggers are loving the images that were taken from this camera. For the video quality, so as I've mentioned that XA3 is focused on capturing photos, it does a good job on producing decent images. On video guys, a Fujifilm is not the device that you would actually buy for its video recording capabilities. It can shoot a video for uh, 1920 and 1080p, full HD, no 4K video guys, with a frame rate of 60 frames per second, which is not bad, but you won't get a lot of good features that others camera have. But I would understand because this is an entry level and inexpensive camera which is currently sold at the price ranging from 17 to 25,000 pesos which is not so expensive for a mirrorless camera and so the video capabilities of the device is compromised. It has no mic input, yes, but with a very good built-in audio recorder. But there are actually solutions on mic adapters out there that you can find. I will give you a link below. So while using, I observed that it doesn't work so well on autofocus. It is only fine when you don't move that much away and closer to the lens or else it does work very slow on its autofocus. Since the autofocus of X-A3 is somehow rightfully oriented on still objects. So when you were looking for a camera that you would probably be using for vlogging, this is just okay but not the best. There are even instances that I had to reshoot because the camera was not focused when I was filming. And that's sometimes irritating guys. So as a user guys, you know for me, uh, my rate for this camera for photo capturing or capturing images, it's actually 5 over 5. And for the video, um, it's actually a usable video but I would rate it uh, 3.8 out of 5. Yes. So that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you are looking for a camera that is perfect for vlogging in 2020, check out the link below. So that's it guys. Have a good day. Bye bye. In... Stop now. Put the record. Nian.